ozonolysis. So first let us know the definition of ozonolysis. The reaction where cleavage of alkene, alkyne and azo compounds takes place by using ozone is called ozonolysis. Now let us see an example. Here 2 butane when it reacts with ozone it gives a structure called butane ozonide. This butane ozonide when it reacts with dimethyl sulfide it gives 2 moles of acetaldehyde. Now let us see the mechanism. Here 2 butane reacts with ozone. In 2 butane the double bond is shifted to third carbon leaving second carbon positively charged. In the same way as oxygen here is having a positive charge, this bond is shifted here, leaving this oxygen positively charged. Now this positively charged oxygen will form a bond with negatively charged carbon and this negatively charged oxygen will form a bond with positively charged carbon, giving us mole ozonide. As mole ozonide is highly unstable, it will undergo fragmentation. Here, this oxygen will take a bond from oxygen, getting a negative charge, leaving this oxygen positively charged. As this oxygen is having positive charge, this bond is shifted here, giving us this structure. And here this carbon will get a positive charge. Now this carbon is having positive charge and this oxygen is having negative charge. Here the lone pair of electrons present on the oxygen is shifted, giving oxygen a positive charge. So these are the fragments of mole ozonide. These fragments will again undergo cyclization giving butene or ozonide. In this structure, as oxygen is having positive charge, the double bond is shifted here, leaving this carbon positively charged. In the same way, in acetaldehyde, this oxygen will take the bond by getting a negative charge, leaving this carbon positively charged. Now, this negatively charged oxygen will form a bond with positively charged carbon, and the positively charged carbon will form a bond with negatively charged oxygen giving butene ozonide. In butene ozonide, bond dissociation takes place where this bond is shifted to oxygen leaving carbon positively charged. As this carbon is having a positive charge, the bond present between these two oxygen is shifted giving us acetaldehyde and this oxygen will get a positive charge. Now this structure will again react with dimethyl sulphide. Here lone pair of electrons present on the sulphur will form a bond with positively charged oxygen and gives a structure like this. As sulphur is sharing its lone pair of electrons to the positively charged oxygen, sulphur is getting a positive charge. Because of which the bond present between the carbon and oxygen is shifted and the group is eliminated in the form of dimethyl sulfoxide. Here the carbon will get a positive charge. Then the negatively charged oxygen will donate its electrons and gives acetaldehyde. So here two moles of acetaldehyde is obtained. So this is the mechanism of ozonolysis. For more such videos, please like, share and subscribe our channel.